Welcome back to the cabin. In this video, I'll be building some raised garden beds, installing some shelves in the kitchen, and making some maple sugar. First thing is I'm cutting the wood for my raised beds to size, and then I'm going to burn them for wood preservation. The dimensions of the bed are 20 feet lengthwise, which is the length of the cabin, by 3 feet widthwise. I'm just gathering all of my wood and lining them up together so I can start to burn them all. The beds are going to be located directly in front of the cabin because it receives plenty of sunlight which will be the perfect location for growing my fruits and vegetables. And now I'm just going to make myself some lunch for today. So I'm going to be making maple glazed salmon, carrots, and quinoa using homemade maple syrup that was made this season.
as you would have seen last week, I made maple syrup, but this week I'm making maple sugar. So in order to make maple sugar, the process begins the exact same as making maple syrup by boiling the sap. After the syrup gets to a temperature of about 255 degrees Fahrenheit or 124 degrees Celsius, the syrup is then removed from the heat. That smells so good. Mm -hmm. Turn on the hand. Not a big enough spoon. Mm -hmm. it's, spoon it's mixed continuously until it starts to form the consistency of sugar. It gets progressively more difficult to stir as it thickens, so it's definitely helpful to have someone take over when your arms start to get tired. But finally, you end up with maple sugar, which will last indefinitely, just like your regular table sugar. Now I'm just working on my kitchen shelves, which I'm just sanding down first to prepare for the stain. So now I've finished sanding the boards down and I'm just going to start staining it. I just moved off the deck because I don't want to get any of the stain on the porch at all. The shade that I chose is called Golden Oak and I've just stained the shorter board right now which is 36 inches and the color is actually looking very nice. So now I finished the first coat of stain and it's just out drying and then I'm going to start to flatten the ground here for my garden beds and then in a couple hours I'm going to go do the second coat of stain over there. So hopefully I can finish getting this ground level and start building the beds but very uneven right now.
So it's been a couple hours and I decided that I am going to do a second coat. I have yet to decide what I'm specifically going to be planting in these beds, but I'm currently working on figuring that out. I will also be growing fruit trees, which will include pears and apples. After finishing building the garden beds, I'm just working on building another knee wall as the porch is going to be fully screened in soon. And finally I'm back in the kitchen and I'm going to be installing the shelves that I just built.
overall I'm pretty happy with how the shelves turned out. I still have to bring some stuff up to actually style them nicely, but this is what I have so far. I've decided that I'm going to build more of these shelves over in this corner and then create a wall mounted bookshelf. I have lots of books, but having a bookcase will take up too much space, so I'm going to be trying to use as much wall space as possible. I have a lot more things I need to order or figure out if I'm going to build or not. I believe next week I'll be working on the porch mainly and getting some stuff planted in the beds that I just made. So I think that's going to be it for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again next week.